hey guys, and the dog just here. Welcome back to another episode of my Persona 5 Royal Let's Play. We are still waiting for Futaba to recover and everything, so hopefully she can take down Medjet. This episode we're just gonna go through the rest of the days and then see if Futaba does actually recover, so let's just get into it. We can't hang out with anyone because we just came back from Mementos. Should we read something? Theme park escort or... Sure, we'll, we will unlock a new location this way, I think. I hope. Destiny land in my hammer. It's a hugely popular spot that's great for families and going on dates. I can never go there by myself though. You'd have to invite someone or it would be too lonely. Oh. Yeah, new location. I guess let's hang out with Makoto. She's hanging by the school gate again, which is kind of sad. Then again, she really does have nothing better to do with, it, with her time. Uh, well, let's hang out. Shall we go? I have a small favor to ask you. Let's get a drink before we talk. Oh, and we can take the back entrance. Oh, really? You like going through the back entrance, do you, Makoto? Someone started dating a host. I guess he hit on her one day after her shift and that was it. Since then, that's all she talks about. She even sent me a picture of their date at Destinyland. He sounds suspicious. You think so too? But now it seems he hasn't forced her to spend any money, but I'm nervous still. Beyond that, he calls her his princess and tells her how special she is. It makes me sick. <sighs> she refuses to listen to me and said the idea that all hosts are bad people is old. She even said she was shocked to be getting advice from someone who would totally flunk a test about love. <laughs> Tests about love are not a thing though, and even if they were, I must... You kind of would flunk it, Makoto. Let's be honest. I'm sorry about that. I'm probably just being biased towards him. I mean, I don't have any proof that he's not trustworthy. But that's why I want to meet him and find out what kind of person he is. And if it's not too much, I'd like you to come with me. Well... This time you'll have to play the role of my boyfriend. Only if I can take it seriously. Hmm? How do you mean? Oh, I see. You're seriously worried. That's kind of you. <sighs> Someone's kind of smart. You're very, very Actually... dumb about that kind of stuff, I guess. Anyway, to tell you the truth, I actually already made plans with her and her boyfriend for a double date. Sorry. He's going to be at a diner, nothing fancy though. Thank you. Your big help. I'm glad you agreed. I don't know who else I'd have asked if you said no. Alright. I hope she's not getting herself wrapped up in anything dangerous. But for now, I will try getting some info. All right then. I'll see you later. Bye, Makoto. Sorry, I had to ask something unreasonable. I appreciate you going along with it, though. Do you think she's okay? I hope I'm just being paranoid. But what if it turns out he really is toying with her? What do we do? <laughs> Fist of justice. Out of the question. <laughs> We'd end up... <laughs> Come on, don't take this seriously. You all people need to be careful about it. You're under probation. Don't... Don't start acting like that, Makoto. It's a joke. 
I keep thinking in circles here, I need to stop dwelling on the negative. Let's see who this host is. Call you again later. Bye Makoto. Let's go get dressed. Fortune tell us if one started. Yo, fraud. What do you think? Tell her the results. Fine. Sit down. Goodness gracious! Okay. Her boyfriend stopped abusing her? I don't believe it. But even if he did stop, her fate should still be heading down the path to misery without changing. I mean, look. What? The sequence of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. Except... Death isn't always a bad thing. From what I know about uh, tarot cards and everything, death can actually be a positive thing. It's like the death of uh, an old job into a new job or something. At least that's what I've been told. I could be wrong. Hearts can be changed. Faith is not absolute. No, no, no! This must be some sort of trick. No, just what accept you, it. Scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? I didn't make any deals. Then what did you do? That's not for you to know. You plunge him into Tokyo Bay, or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him. Uh. You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. I'm just an ordinary student. Well, you certainly do seem ordinary. Yes, quite ordinary indeed. See? But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You don't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. Uh, I get nothing out of this. Well, that may be true. I know. I'll read your fortune. Please? I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? Hmm. Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. Please, I beg you. I need to know if fate truly can be changed. Of course it can. I suppose you do seem useful. Okay then, I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal after all. And I made a deal. And I'm being yeeted into the interrogation room again. Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. Yeah, yeah, fortune. Look, reading. Temporarily increase the growth rate of a select social site. Alright. Okay, that's cool. Is fate really something that can be changed? Of course it can. If it's really possible, then... Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. Don't patronize me. Um... I'm a Mia-san. I forgot to get your contact info. There we go. 
I will be con contacting you soon, so please come for the verification test, okay? I suggest you don't try to get out of it, or else you'll notice what kind of black magic I'll have to resort to. You're pretty extreme. Okay, I'll be there. Great, now our deal is official. Sorry for taking so much of your time, please be careful. Until next time. See you soon. Okay, can't hang out with Takemi yet because we need to get our charm up. We can hang out with Yusuke and... Oh, Kasumi's there, but we've maxed her out now, so... Okay, you skaters. I'm in the wrong place. Screw it, beans. Let's go do something. Yeah. Okay. She wants to go somewhere popular. Very well. Let's go to Harajuku. It'd be great if you could come shopping okay, with me. Let's get going. Even just going for the people watching is interesting. Let's go. Hey. There's a shop I like around here, so I come pretty often. But all of the people are such a pain. What gives them the right to be here? Alright, calm down, beans. Anyway, let's get through quickly so we don't get caught by the salespeople. <sighs> they were sold out of the clothes I wanted. Beans don't need clothes anyway, so it's okay. There are so many different types of people here, it's just fun just watching them. People might think I'm weird if they see me staring at them alone, but I'm sure it's fine as long as I'm with you. You usually come alone? Hmm. Yeah, Shiho was always busy with volleyball, so I didn't get to ask her out very much. And I mean, things are half as Fun if you don't have anyone to share that fun with, right? Hey. I wonder what all these people are thinking about right now. Some of them might even be sad beneath those happy exteriors and we'd never even know. Uh -huh. Weird sound. Okay. Don't you get fired up thinking about it? Oh, um, never mind. That's not what we were talking about. Oh, that couple's in a big fight. The girlfriend's totally going for the knockout punch. Hey, they were handing these out so I took one. Are you interested in this? You can have it if you want. An idol poster. Maybe there's a way to make sure Anne has a good time. Something girly. Well, we know she likes sweets. So... Truffles? You're giving these to me? These desserts are amazing. They melt in your mouth with... Okay, shut up, beans. I can do this evening. Hey Where coffee dad. Uh, let's go hang out with somebody I guess. Who's even here? Oh the weird New supporter or Mishima. Yeah, I hate going outside too. <laughs> Let's go see the weird journalist person because we need to try and max out everybody. Oh, honey. Um. Uh. Hi, Lala. Hopefully, it'll stop soon. Have you heard any good gossip? My deadline's got coming up. I sit down. Let's hang out. Hey. You must have good info, right? Give me the details. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. I see. So the calling card they used for Kamoshida was different. No, that's a scoop. That kind of information usually doesn't see the light of day. Do you have any photos or videos of it? 
Uh, Mishima, right? Nice, you have some great connections. <laughs> but seriously, the Phantom Thieves have hearts? They sound like kids on a playground, not valiant fighters for society. I mean, they act all high and mighty, but I'm not sure they're really worth very much in the end. Worth? Yep. What? You don't think they're really virtuous, do you? In my line of work, there's no clearer sign of deception than goodwill. You know, like the shady actions of a charitable organisation or the actual criteria of a peace prize. Same goes for the Phantom Thieves, you just have to learn to take some things with a grain of salt. Yeah, I agree, don't be a downer. Yeah, it may be the truth, but you're being a downer. You used to be so positive. Ugh. Oh, shut it, I don't care about the past. Give me some sushi. We're all out. Hey, why don't you go back to covering politics? No can do. I've been permanently re reassigned to the culture and entertainment department. What a crappy company. I mean, it's already been over a year since the incident. Oh, by the incident, I mean... Don't say another word. That has nothing to do with my source. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm already sobering up. Give me a refill, Lala Chan. Yeah, she does act like a brat, to be honest. There's a poster that says the end of the last. Okay. Oh. That's some skull you've got. Anyway, why are you coming to a bar if you can't even drink alcohol? It's for the article. That's right. You're a true believer in the Phantom Thieves. Well, at least now I know you're going to be pretty useful. I'm not all that interested in them myself, but keep the info coming. All right. I said. <laughs> wow. Do they call you Escargo because you move as slow as a snail? We're out of boots, a certain reporter drank it all. Can't you just go by more? I'll wait for you. Forever. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. She's a really strange person, to be honest. Well then. Bye! Hey Ryuji, how about a kiss? Sup? No, okay. Hey. Do you wanna what do you what do you think about training? Let's hang out. Yo. Yeah. Ryuji would pick somewhere with good food. Don't tell. Sure. Isn't that place all couples? Well, as long as it's Let's fun. Go. Anyway, we're gonna conquer the roller coaster. You can conquer uh... Ren, Miyuji. Here we are, just two dudes alone at an amusement park. Not like there's anything wrong with that, though I guess it'd be better coming with a girl. Yeah, except you can't get a girl, Miyuji. No matter what you try, you can't get one. <laughs> Your best option is to just uh, realise that Ren is the one for you and you two just get together. Whatever, I'm accepting my fate. Come on, let's go over to a roller coaster. I'm ready to scream. Yeah, you won't have any girls say that to you either. <laughs> what am I even saying? Uh, don't get sick again, okay? So good, I'm totally used to it after last time, you better not cry on it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> that ship was as thrilling now as always. My knees feel kind of weird, don't it feel like you're walking on clouds or something? Oh hey, when they get stuff you've got to use your muscle for. Let's blow some steam. Yeah. Couples are everywhere in this place. I wonder what they're thinking about us. They're probably not even paying any attention, to be honest. 
How is Futaba? I haven't heard of anything. This ain't just some normal oversleeping stuff. Our deadline's tomorrow. Futaba's not up by then. But can she really do anything even if she does wake up? Honestly, I'm not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. That's right. Yeah. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? Dreams are said to be the sorting of memories after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? Do you really think she's facing all that right now? If that's the case, she would probably need a great amount more time to do so. But considering how she had us wrapped around her finger, I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. I believe in Futaba. Yeah, indeed. Just give us a call if anything changes. We're counting on you. I have to agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out? You'll be fine. They're just worrying for no reason. Still no Akechi. Big sad. Hello. Yeah. Ah, uh, I want to work. Tell you about the shop. It's a piece of cake for someone like you, right? Let's hang out. <laughs> if you're considered an employee, you won't seem suspicious coming in and out, right? If you get what I'm saying, bring the goods to the back. Hey. Hurry up and learn this, kid. You've got to be able to start looking like a normal employee. I'm supposed to be running an honourable business here, you know? Though honestly, the customers have been running a little thin lately. Some guy on the internet's been claiming all my goods are knockoffs. And once you've got a bad rap like that, it's tough to shake it. I know how it feels. <sighs> a kid like you? You're going through something similar? I guess you wouldn't be doing any of this if you weren't. Don't give me any details though, I don't want to know. That's right. Anyways, I should probably fill you in on what's going on here since you're helping me out. I bet anything the guy behind that room is Suda. You remember his name from the diner, yeah? Truth is, he's the second in command of the Hashiba clan. The same clan I was in back when I was part of the Yakuza. I always knew you were a thug. You got some nerve. Anyways. Suda was my sworn brother back in the clan. I got some unsavory business going down with him now though. Problem is, I'm a known quantity in the underworld. One bad step and I'd have guys crawling all over me. That's why I've got you around. You look normal, sure, but you've got balls, kid. Makes you perfect for snooping on Suda. Hope I ain't scaring you off with all this talk. Ah, uh, not really. I can't stand weak answers like that. Anyways, you got the gist of what's going on, yeah? You'll be working with that in mind. I expect you a lot be from grateful. you. Oh no, add to the special menu to thank you for getting that info the other day. Allows you to customise camouflage on your gun, which can inflict ailments. That's actually right. a new new thing, I think. Hello? What's the meaning of this? I thought I told you to stop coming around here. But... Why are you being so mean? <sighs> Keep your mouth shut, this is none of your business. Just go home and study, Karu. Karu? Kao Kao Okay. I guess I'll be going. Yeah. That's my son. He's always asking if he can help out. Always worrying about what I'm up to. <sighs> I shouldn't be telling someone like you about this. You can head home. Nice work. Later. Bye. The chance of attacking today. It's too much. 
stock prices and all that kind of jank. Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Futaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. How's Futaba? Same as always. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Thanks, Coffee Dad. Futaba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? That reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor, and I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death a suicide. And I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Yeah. Still... There's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off, thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> I don't think there's any, that's another reason anything that you could have done. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. And those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Yeah, if... Wakaba died the way she did, it probably means she had a breakdown, which from how I know it in the game, you can't prevent that happening. Once it, like, when Morgana was talking about it at the beginning of the game, if you kill the shadow, then the person might die. Like, so obviously someone went to kill her shadow, or her inner self, and she died from that. So, yeah, it doesn't matter if he did anything about it, she still would have died. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? You can't. You just have to learn to live with them, I guess. Uh, they, they won't heal on their own. I agree. I'm waiting for it to happen. Yeah. Futaba? Futaba? It's cold. Well, yeah. Uh huh? You can't sell this. <laughs> no, no, never mind that. How did you get here? She walked. Uh, I walked? Yeah. You're okay? Was that bad? That, that, that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> it's all right. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, you are. Uh, you know... The whole cleanse thing? Kind of important. Oh, I remember now. Majed. Let's take care of it now. Come. Okay, sure. Apparently some ATMs aren't working. I heard someone's tampering with the system. Is it Majed? What are the police doing? Even the Phantom Thieves couldn't stop them. It 
it's my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now, how do we cook them? Eliminate them. <laughs> Violent much? Are you complaining? We don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? Is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. No, no, don't you dare dream. sleep. Get up. Say something. Uh, he's a talking cat. Right. Now hurry it up. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. <laughs> it's hilarious how she just accepts it. There. He's a talking cat. Sure uh, okay. Work? Let her concentrate, Morgana. Hey, Futaba. <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she can focus at all. Futaba, you should really clean your room a bit. Huh. She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. Looking good, Ren. You'll make a good housewife one day. It looks a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. You're gonna be waiting a while, guys. She probably got it done in about five minutes and then just like messed around the rest of the time. <laughs> it's finished. Finished? What is? <gasps> it's so clean. Why? We cleaned it. Yeah. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them and someone else handled my room. I don't understand, but this is good. Utaba? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> she just passed out. She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. She's just slept for the last get home ten days or too. something. I'm scared what's gonna happen now the police ignoring it. Someone do something. So, Futab is awake? Awesome. And has Medjet been taken care of? Uh, more importantly, how's Futab doing? She's back asleep. Seriously? She must have been quite exhausted. I can't say how I blame her at all. If Medjet's been affected, it will surely make the news. That should be enough to confirm whether or not the deed's been done. Then why don't we all watch the news together? Yep, we should meet as usual. See you tomorrow, guys. We should be in the clear now, right? <sighs> I don't know, maybe it would be better if we just stayed in today. Can I at least go downstairs? I can. Oh, there's... uh, no. I'm shopping today. This is the wrong start, or for the wrong start, but we're gonna watch it anyway. Hey, they're onto us! We're out of time! Wait, just wait. Look at my back. See the map? If we take this route instead, we might stand a chance. These men are crafting a detailed plan to escape from prison. That's incredible. Persuading the guards to make them small gadgets. How do they think of it? Oh! Thanks to the Crafter Cinema, I was able to enjoy the show on a deeper level. Okay. Let's go return the DVD oh. soon. And let's go to bed. Good night, Morgana. Are you serious? No way. This isn't a joke, is it? 
They lost? How could this happen? Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. What's up? The UG just yelled and disturbed the whole cafe. So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Well, that's what vacation is Yo, for. You look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Yeah, I can see that, Beans. Last night it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. What are you all smirking about? And I got a new trophy. Uh, nothing. Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. Oh no, happy teenagers. That's After the so off putting. We'll be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Yeah, Ryuji. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation too. Mm hmm. Oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. There are still 10 days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me too. Like that research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> oh, she's shy. That's adorable. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> What do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Um, Unfortunately, yeah. the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. Yeah, except what all you politicians think, are corrupt anyway, so it doesn't really oh, matter. Sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. Oh. I've been muted into the interrogation room again. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Maybe. Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? Uh... 
not so different from us. So you were aware that what you were doing wasn't the pure justice you envisioned? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. My bumper size is deeper. All right. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? To think, the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. If you made it this far into the video, comment down below. Futaba Sakura is a precious cinnamon roll. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science. Oh, stuff, what are you yeah. eating there, Futaba? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? And she's gone. She is quite difficult. Uh, more food? Smell. Come on, no fair. Hey, can I snag a bite? No, leave her alone, guys. Meanie. <laughs> Shouldn't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? Yep. The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Yep. Um, Surprise. What do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep. It was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the hacker of justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Uh... So, Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? Pretty much. <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. That was Just easy. Like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. <laughs> Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. You're not being interrogated, Still, Futaba. A problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? Let's get to know her. How? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. 
If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Good luck. You've got this, Butaba. Why me? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. Akechi, shut I up! Stay calm about this. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Mejed was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Wow, Akechi. You got super mad. Hey, I heard some people talking about us on the train home. They were saying how awesome they think we are. I've heard things too, it's becoming a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from a med jet attack would have been massive. It's no surprise they reveal us while preventing it. It was close though. Yeah, it's really all thanks to Ali Bala, you were a great help. It was nothing. Oh, that reminds me. Remember that stuff about ATMs and banks just stopping? That wasn't Medjed, was it? Nope, that was separate. So people were overreacting to mere coincidence. Either that or those rumours were never true to begin with. You seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. Is that so? Oh shut up. <laughs> this is so like me. Um. I don't think I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. You gotta apologize, Yusuke. Me? Why? <laughs> hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. It'll be fine, Morgana. <sighs> Training through tab is going to be a lot of work, more than stealing someone's heart. See if this. Oh, it's this guy. Uh. Right, it feels great. Wildfire spreading and people getting stuff. excited about this? Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. First, we need to go here. So we can return our DVD and get another one. Not that way. Ben, that way. Welcome. What do they have? D Housewives, Mouse MD, 31, and T. That one, I guess. Just gonna go down the list. Oh, honey. Will you shut up. It's so annoying. Is this weather a result of climate change? Let's hang out. Oh? Where do you get this stuff from? True believers are scary. Hey, want a drink? Hmm. A fan site? Oh, you mean the Phantom Aficionado website? I didn't know it's so popular with high school kids. I haven't been paying much attention to it. 
but if it's newsworthy, I should keep tabs on it. The Phantom Thieves must be really bored if they're going after small time criminals. I have a theory that they're all minors and their leader is some simpleton dying from boredom. How dare you call Ren a simpleton? How dare you? <laughs> you shouldn't make assumptions. You're right, my theory is definitely half-assed at best. Plus, if it only takes a second to change a person's heart, they totally wouldn't be bored. Well, I'm not really interested in writing articles about fads that are caught on. They do well though, right? Some journalists who were in here seem frustrated about that. Journalists? Oh, you mean Nakao and the others. Shit. You'd lump me in with those hyenas. Don't insult me. People at work call them paparazzi behind their bikes, but me? I'm a real journalist. Is that why you're in this bar just drinking your life away? I wasn't looking for you to butt in. Entertainment articles are all about selling copies. The truth doesn't matter. Nobody wants real news. Maybe you should quit. No, I've got my reasons for stay. But at this rate, you... If I quit now, it would be the same as declaring my partner guilty. Damn it. Jointly responsible. What a joke. She didn't do anything. That's why I can't quit and why I'll never give up. What happened? It has nothing to do with you. But... Thanks to you, I've had more time to focus on my own investigation. I'm going to write an article that you'll really enjoy. Think of it as a sign of my appreciation. I can see it now. Exclusive. Behind the incredible Phantom Thieves. Dial 911 for justice. How's that sound? Don't worry, I'll take it seriously. After all, it's what I promised. Security level raises slowly and lowers upon defeating an ambushed enemy. Okay. All right. You sure are weird though, coming all this way at night. Hello? Mm -hmm. Wait, what? I can talk with him? Really? Okay, I'll be right there. Work? Nah, I'm already off the clock. Sorry, I have some urgent business I need to attend to. Just put this one on my tab, Lala Chan. Well then. Bye. Jeez, she's such a child. She gets so excited the moment something comes up about her favourite assignment. Anyway, shouldn't you be getting home as well? Oh, my charm went up. So now I can start doing right. the clinical trial things again. I'm in the velvet room. Hey guys, what do you want with me now? Our master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely. Inmate. Okay, I'm listening. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Thank you, Igor. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. What? Calm Why down. I? More curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take. Toward your rehabilitation. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? I have a bad feeling. I believe I told you we would spare no expense in cooperating with you. Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. 
My bond with the ego is growing deeper. All right. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. Okay, bye guys. Well, my popularity went right up. Okay. Makoto and Yusuke are scheduled for today, right? I haven't seen them. What happened to them? Futaba, can you open up? Open what? The front door? Why? will not you come to Ren? We're in front of Futaba's house. You want to meet Hiro at LeBlanc? Isn't that more comforting? Y you never mentioned this. It would be nice if you could hurry down soon, it's scorching out hot out here. You demon. Um... <laughs> Looks like we're meeting up immediately over at Futaba's. Makoto is really going about this seriously. What's <laughs> that supposed to be? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. Yusuke! Now's not the time to appreciate a stupid mask. Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? Oh no, what's he, what's I'd Yusuke like to doing? We have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. You seem confident? Yes. You must be well versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. Okay. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. <laughs> Organic um, food. That wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh... Yeah, do you like uh, Japanese food, topic. American, How about the weather? Italian? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Dunno, I haven't been out. Oh, right. Makoto's <gasps> getting overwhelmed. It, this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. Makoto is fine, okay? She's By just way, an odd Yusuke, person. What have you been doing this whole time? Yeah, Yusuke, what are you oh. doing? Superb. Oh no. What did you do? When I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. Oh no. My children. What have you done to my children? <laughs> it's exactly like me whenever something bad happens to like characters I like or something. They appear to be quite shoddily made. Yusuke, why did you mess with her figurines? They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Featherman. Now she's upset. Well done, dickhead. No, yellow and pink's heads, and red's been hacked to bits. This is all Inari's fault. Inari? Yeah, you you are Inari. You know Inari sushi. Tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. <laughs> uh, how dare you say that to me? Of all people. <laughs> Guys, that's not make a conversation it up. anymore. It's a full blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It's, it's about something she's it interested she in. She doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as yeah. the subject interests her. I I'm the actually the same, to be honest. Not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! 
In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes. She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! We will all be there, don't worry. Well, I guess in that case... I've left tomorrow to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so he'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? No. I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. Hey, Coffee Dad. Not bad for her first time. She's still got a long way to go though. I wonder how long before she's ready for the beach. Who's calling me? Oh, okay, it's Ryuji and the guys. People are pumped. They're talking about the Phantom Thieves taking Medjet down. Mishima's website has a load of comments too. The news coverage has been really insane. Yep, they have only spoken of the Phantom Thieves for the entirety of today. We're getting attention from all over the, the city. So, how's Futaba doing? Futaba! Futaba! My Phoenix Rangers almost met their demise. What? We just talked. Anyway, things didn't go perfectly, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in someone else's room. Futaba is a difficult personality to handle. Good luck, you two. Shut it, Inari. <laughs> Alright, it's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Futaba. We have so much to talk about, I can't wait. Lady On and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. Yeah, so but I guess we'll see what they can do. Mm. Doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna wrap the episode up here today, guys. Um yeah, thanks for watching and see you all soon.